Junior Achievement of Central Maryland helps students realize that the education they get today will help them achieve a bright future tomorrow. Helping them prepare for in-demand careers is JA Career Pathfinder. And here with more on the program is Kim Fabian, Senior Vice President. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to be here. Thank you. I told you, I'm a big JA fan in part because I got it, I think, seventh grade. I, I lived in Wisconsin. I got it that one year and then I didn't get it anymore. So I love what you're doing because students are through this program year after year. That's right. We try to give them real touch points in both elementary, middle, and high school so that these concepts can stick with them and they can see how what they're learning in school applies to the real world. That's what I was going to ask. For people who are not familiar with junior achievement, talk about what it is exactly. In the simplest type of form, we teach youth how careers, money, and business ownership work. And we provide real life experiences to help them really get their hands dirty and talk with real professionals and mentors and work with each other as a team, communicate together, um, and help them feel what it's really like to be an adult. And I had the opportunity to visit your location in the past and you sort of do a day for students where they, it's BizTown, is that yeah, what it's called? J.A. BizTown. Yeah, so talk about that experience too. It's a simulated town of 14 different businesses that look like a real economy and students take several lessons with their teacher in their classrooms to prepare for coming to our facility on that day and they take on the role of an employee and a citizen and they run the whole town. It really is amazing just to see them, the light bulbs go off and now you've got another program to this Pathfinder. Can you describe what that is? Absolutely. Uh, we created JA Pathfinder as an easy way for kids to see what jobs are available available right here in Central Maryland. Um, there are a lot of uh, career exploration portals out there on the web, um, but they're a little bit overwhelming and the kids don't know exactly what to do. So we created this one where they can search for what salary they want, uh, wh what education they think they will attain, um, what schedule they want to have, what their skills are, and then career matches will come up for them um, and show them all sorts of really interesting information in a, in a snapshot glance. I feel like adults need this now. <laughs> well, you could. It's, it's open source it platform, open so you can absolutely get there, japathfinder.org. I'm going to send that. I'm going to put that on my Facebook right after this. <laughs> like, hey, there are options. They're here to help. And then there was recent research with Ernst & Young as well, right? Can you describe what this research and the study was? We do an annual survey about teens' um, thoughts about their careers. And every year you see a little bit of a shift as to what teens are really thinking about doing for their careers. Okay. This year overall, we saw a little bit of a decline in interest in STEM careers, particularly among uh, male students, a little bit of an increase in females. Uh, and it, it sort of tells what they're out there looking for. This year, uh, they were more interested in the medical fields, in dental fields, and also in fields that help other people. So that's really interesting, sort of building on what those millennials, you know, really are focused on giving back. But what we think is most important is helping kids understand what opportunities and possibilities are out there in their own community. And so if people want to get more information either on Pathfinder or just JA in general, how do they do that? The easiest way is to go to our website at jamaryland.org and the Pathfinder site is linked from there as well. I love all this research. I love that Pathfinder site. That is helpful for kids and adults, like I said. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after the break. Stay tuned.